So we're looking here at a problem that involves radial densities. And so we're imagining here that we have like a little factory uh, at the center of this circle. And it's been putting out some sort of smoke uh, into the atmosphere. And that's polluted the surrounding area. And the density of pollutants depends on the distance uh, from the center or from the factory. And so the density is a function of the radius, the distance from the uh, the, the factory, uh, and it's a area, uh, area density, so it's a grams per square kilometer. And so we're trying to figure out the total, uh, we're trying to find the total grams of pollutants uh, on this circular region. So on this circular region. So notice here that the density is going to change depending upon where we are. And, and whenever we've tried to slice something, we've always tried to slice it in some way so that our function uh, is constant uh, over the entire slice. So here, the only way we're going to be able to do that is by slicing radially. So to slice into little circular rings, if you will, at some given radius. And so if we know the radius, uh, what we need to ask ourselves is what is the area of this ring slice, because we're imagining the density is essentially constant all along that ring. So the trick to thinking about uh, the area of this ring is to imagine unrolling this. So to imagine sort of slicing the ring here and unwrapping it. And if we unwrapped it, we'd end up with this nice little long little ribbon uh, where this thickness here would be the little change in R. And then the length of my little ribbon is the circumference of the ring, so the distance around, which would be 2 pi r. And so the area of this ring ends up being 2 pi r dr. And as an area, so that's kilometers squared. So now we can find the mass of pollutant on this ring by taking the density uh, and multiplying it by the area. So in this case, we've got 40 e to the minus 0.2 r times our area function, so times 2 pi r dr. And notice that this will be uh, grams per square kilometer times a number of square kilometers. So this is going to give us grams here. So to get the total mass now on this entire circular region, we're just going to add up the mass on each of those rings. So we're just going to integrate from the center of the ring out to the edge of the ring. So from 0 to 20, uh, 40 e to the minus 0.2 r times 2 pi r dr. Okay, and that integral will give us the total mass of pollutants on that er, uh, circular area.